Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, I hope you are all well. Today we are going to do the review I thought I would never make and that is for Anything Goes at the Barbican. Let's go. Hello there, um, editing but not editing me, I actually edited this video quite a while back and didn't put it up in time, um, basically I'm aware that Anything Goes at the Balkan closed about a month ago, um, but I decided that I still wanted to put this video up in case there's ever another revival or there's another tour. I also just wanted to just sing the praises of everyone involved and tell you my thoughts um, but I also thought it would probably be better to put everything else that I've recently reviewed up first because they are still live and on tour or in London's West End um, so I thought I'd just come in here and explain with a lovely freeze frame of me in a program because it's better than what you currently have would see if you were watching me right now. It's not a good look. Um, I'm also about to watch Fishman's Friend, the movie. After enjoying the musical so much recently, I thought I'd treat myself to a movie afternoon with chocolate. So I'm going to go and watch that and you can stay and watch this. Enjoy! So like I said, this is one that I didn't think I would ever be making and this is through many faults of my own. Um, this show is a show that I kind of enjoyed for a while. Um, I first got introduced to it through my sheer love of Sutton Foster. I think it just popped up one day on Spotify and I was like, ha, ah, this song, brilliant. Um, then I was fully introduced last year when Sutton Foster, as part of her long London run at the Barbican did a recorded version of Anything Goes which got released into cinemas and I was like okay I'll go and watch it at the cinema because I'm never going to get a chance to go to the Barbican and I fell in love. The music which is by Cole Porter a man whose music is just phenomenal like the entirety of this score is chef's kiss beautifully played by the orchestra at the barbican and he has also written other brilliant shows and music including kiss me kate another show that i so love it's the music of that era it's just if i could be back in those days i would <laughs> i love the music i love everything about it the fashion ha ah, amazing um and yeah, I finally got to sit in the Barbican, something I never thought I'd do, and see this show this time round with Kerry Ellis, one of my loves in musical theatre, as the lead. And yeah, it just felt amazing. Like, I think I literally almost cried at the end of Act One, not because it is a sad scene by any stretch of the ima imagination. Um, in fact, Act One finishes with Anything Goes, but literally everything about the show, the amazing choreography which has been done by Kathleen Marshall, on top of everything else, it was just like everyone was on stage, it was just amazing to witness, and the hairs went up on the back of my arms, and I just felt so much emotion just seeing this amazing thing in real life and it was just incredible to watch. On top of the amazing choreography uh, and direction by Kathleen Marshall, it also has a set designed by Derek McLean, it has costumes designed by John Morrell and wigs and hair and makeup designed by Campbell Young Associates and all three of those together just made it so brilliantly done it felt so much of the era that you associate with Anything Goes. It's just absolutely a vision to watch. And it was like, I kind of want to just be in those outfits. I want to be in the hair, the makeup. I just wanted to be on that stage. And I was like, mm -hmm. loved it. C 
creatively this show just works so well especially in the space it is in the Barbican I've never been to the Barbican before and to sit in those seats which were ridiculously comfy may I say <laughs> and like watch that show I think there is no bad route bad seat in that room should I say um and yeah it is it just works so well in the space even if that space is a literal maze I got in I got out I almost got lost twice it's okay though it's okay cast were absolutely phenomenal some have been with this show from the last run last year some are new additions to the show for example Carrie Ellis um the ensemble are freaking fantastic um they're amazing to watch they are so part of the action at all times they are performing mostly of choreography and it's just amazing to watch them go like full out at all times and it was even filled with some familiar faces some people that i haven't seen in shows for so long um you'll find when i talk through shows afterwards i call them reviews they're not really they're more just chats but I do like to mention people I've seen previously and it's it's mainly because I just find it really fascinating to watch people go through their careers. I mean it'd be odd if it was the other way around and people were talking about me because some of the jobs I've had you wouldn't want to follow me around. Um, but yeah, seeing some familiar faces, two people that I last saw in like however knows how long it was now, I, I have no concept of time since Covid but the brilliant faces of Jacob Fisher and Jess Buckby who I both last saw in the last, not the last but the, last, the one before that iteration of um, We Had the Family and it was amazing to see them once again and on top of that there were some new faces that I was like you are amazing I want to follow whatever you do in whatever you do in your future and it's just nice to find some new people to fall in love with and to follow their careers of. Going on to the principal parts, first up onto the stage is Simon Callow, who plays Elisha Whitney. Um, I was kind of unsure how to feel about Simon Callow prior to going into the show, uh, mainly because I know Simon Callow is this big Shakespearean actor of serious parts and <laughs> Anything Goes is not a serious show um, but I really enjoyed watching him especially in like group dances uh, it's just really nice to see someone do something completely different from what you know them for and this was no exception next after Simon on stage was our understudy Billy who was played this time by Jack Wilcox, who did a phenomenal job of this role. Um, Billy is always like the, the lovable rogue. He gets himself into some mischief that he probably shouldn't do, but it's still, it was really nice to watch him take on this role for the afternoon um, and work alongside his uh, fellow actors including the aforementioned Kerry Ellis who was on as Reno Sweeney. She is a powerhouse. I love the character of Reno Sweeney. She's so like an independent woman for the era um, and literally Kerry was so phenomenal in that role. The, the crowd really really liked her as well like for the first few times she appeared on stage she got a scream like a massive scream um which although like i say i'm a massive fan it was a bit outcoming of the the whole like feel of the show um but still she took it in her stride she just let it go let it happen and then carry on as if nothing happened and i really enjoyed that um, and watching her in the end of Act 1 and also the beginning of Act 2 was literally worth the ticket price alone. As I mentioned before, the end of Act 1 is Anything Goes, the titular song. And then the start of Act 2 is Blow, Gabriel Blow. Two massive um, group large ensemble bits 
and they were both performed phenomenally well by everyone involved. The two other big names in the principals are Bonnie Langford and Dennis Lawson who both gave amazing performances as well. You would expect nothing less of Bonnie. I mean she gives a big power kick as she gets dragged off stage at the end by her fellow actors. Not dragged in a terrible way, <laughs> she just like went oh! Which is what I would do if I could kick my head above my head. Heck of my head above my leg above my head. Um, <laughs> but yes, I, I expected nothing less from Bonnie and then Dennis again, like Simon previously. I kind of know him from his TV acting work and less from his stage work. And so to see him doing his type thing, singing, dancing, doing all that stuff was actually quite interesting and exciting for me because it just gave me a different side to a person that I thought I knew quite well. Finishing off those principal roles we had Nicole Lily Baisden as Hope Harcourt, Hayden Oakley as the hilarious Lord Oakley, like <laughs> the amount of giggles that I got throughout his performance as that role is, was just amazing. He performed it so well I last saw Hayden perform in An American in Paris and I think he had me giggling during that performance. He's just one of those brilliant comedic actors but also has a great voice attached to it and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And finally, in The Principles we have a woman who has needs no introduction in my life and that is Carly Mercedes Dyer who was Irma. I love Carly so much. Um, I still think she was robbed of her Olivier last year. Kind of makes me not want to go and see Cabaret because they robbed her. They robbed her of what should have been hers. <laughs> but it was amazing to literally be in the room watching her performance as Irma in the flesh after watching it so many times on YouTube. Her song towards the end of the show, Buddy Beware, is always one of my favourites and the way that Carly sings it is just something else. There's, she has like a, I don't even know how to describe it but there's like a in her voice at certain times and I just love it. I love it, I love her and I was so happy to finally be in the room sitting there watching it. In fact when I realised on the train down that I was going to be able to see her perform this role finally in the flesh after seeing it so many times on YouTube and in various different places. I almost teared up. I was very excited and she did not disappoint. So I'm gonna have to say I am so glad that I finally got a chance to see this show in the flesh before it closes. It finishes on the 3rd of September at the barbecue. Ah, oh, technical difficulties, don't you love it? What I was saying before I was really cut off by my camera was that I am so glad that I finally got to see this show. Um, it is definitely going to be up there with one of my favourite experiences of the year in theatre. Crazy to say that as we are only just nearing the end of August, hopefully as long as this edits in time. Um, and we still have other shows that I am going to go and see before the year is up. But it is such a joy of a show. It is such a piece of beautiful art. The location of it in London is great for it. And yeah, I really enjoyed my time there. It was phenomenal to see and I loved it and I would 100% recommend. So yeah, that is pretty much that. That is me. And anything goes out. May I also say this is a massive program. So big that I actually had to find some kind of carrier bag to carry it around because it wouldn't fit in my bag. And my bag is massive. I mean, I love a good program. But can we just have it easily accessible, good size? Um. I also did buy the merch, but that's a story for a different day. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come back for my next one on this channel. And yes, that is pretty much it. Love you a lot. I hope to see you next time. Farewell. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody.